look at a few memories of some old photographs that we found in the archives. And the first one we've got is the very first store at Garden City. This is now May of 1987. Our first store actually started from there in Barocco. And the next shot is just shows where our prescriptions are. And funny enough, in those days, the name was not City Pharmacy, it was The Pharmacy. And there was a confusion where they say, which pharmacy do you work in? I said, the pharmacy, and they say, which one? So that's when we thought, okay, it's not quite working out. And there was a name change later on in the years. We got a picture of some of our very first staff. As you know, we started with four staff. It was quite a great experience. But if you look at them now, they're all grown up mothers or fathers with multiple children, or some people are even grandparents. Then I I've, I've see a picture of myself, which is rather embarrassing. <laughs> I've got moustache and a lot of hair on. That was 33 years ago got a picture of my first pharmacist and also my wife so Usha actually still is a pharmacist by profession and she actually started the business with us so now this is one of our favorite shots it's of my wife in front of our city pharmacy van and this is in Buka in 1994 right during the crisis we were the first business that opened on the island it was really for the plea of the Bougainvillian friends of mine to say listen children are dying because of lack of immunization lack of basic medicines and we literally built the shop chopping down trees the other one is a picture in the softball field in those days I did play softball and we did sponsor a team the next picture is of the Parliament House as you know we hosted the Pride of PNG Awards night and this was one of the very first Pride of PNG the next shot here is of more recent times again when we revamped downtown Port Mosby supermarket uh, the next shot here is one of our very first pharmacy conference we only had the pharmacy managers and there was about 40 or 50 of them uh, today when we have our national conference there's about 150 that just shows our evolution from uh, majority expatriates in those days to majority Papua New Guineans now so we've actually come a very long way the other one is our first board of directors when we went public in 2002 we listed on the Port Mosby Stock Exchange. So each year during Independence Day, we actually have an in-house competition. For, firstly, for the best dressed store, and then secondly, for the best dressed person. I must say, it gives me goosebumps because the staff start preparing a week in advance. And the pride and joy you see in them is phenomenal.